To conclude our chapter, um, we are going to look at the role of fungi in uh, nature. Uh, they do pr provide four important roles uh, in our uh, in our lives as well. Um, so how we how they uh, interact with nature and interact with us, and those roles are uh, decomposers and recyclers. Uh, we looked at this as a role of bacteria as well, so that shouldn't be too much of a change. Uh, food, which is pretty obvious, you eat these things. Um, cause and fight of disease, which uh, might be a little in, uh, new to some of you, and symbiosis, uh, which we'll discuss when we get there. Um, first off is our environmental recycling. So keep in mind they are decomposers. Uh, fungus will grow off of your dead or dying organisms, uh, even sometimes parasitic relationships and growing off of like a caterpillar or something and actually taking over that caterpillar and killing it in the process, but it will decompose it once done. So we do have our log here, which is organic material, and the fungus will start growing off of it, uh, especially around this time of year when all the leaves are dying and stuff like that. Fungus are thriving because there's all this um, organic material that they can break down and live off of. Uh, the second thing is, again, a review, which is your N2 recycling, which is your nitrogen recycling. Again, if you remember back when we talked about bacteria, uh, fungus have that ability to break that triple bond in N2 molecules and therefore be able to use them and provide them for other organisms. Uh, food. Food is pretty common in uh, different uh, things you eat. Uh, for one, yeast. Yeast is found in most bread products um, and it gives it that leveling agent which uh, makes it rise. Uh, leavening. Um, blue cheese is another type of fungus. Um, even the uh, little blue pieces and streaks you see through that, that is actually what, um, what doctors uh, started off using as penicillin. Uh, there are better ways to getting it nowadays, but that is one of the uh, sources of penicillin out there, that blue stuff and blue cheese. And obviously mushrooms, if you, uh, some, sometimes you eat mushrooms for different reasons, uh, but they do provide you with food. Um, to help with disease, uh, you can think of Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming was the scientist that discovered penicillin, and penicillin was the first antibiotic. So come this past chapter on bacteria, we looked at, well, how do we get rid of bacterial infections? We use antibiotics. Well, fungus is an antibiotic in some cases, so penicillin, that blue stuff in blue cheese, those blue veiny things, can be prescribed to you when you have a bacterial infection or even sometimes a uh, protist infection. Um, humans can get fungal diseases uh, such as ringworm or athlete's foot. Uh, again, these will be treated with antibiotics such as penicillin or topical ointments that contain um, ways to deal with uh, those fungus. They can also be uh, parasitic. Uh, for example, Dutch elm disease, which is actually pretty common around our area. If you ever go hiking in forests and uh, stuff like that, you'll see um, the uh, Park Service does cut off uh, sections of the forest and kind of try to quarantine them when they have Dutch elm disease because that can spread very easily by one careless hiker dragging a stick from this side to that side and and you infect the rest of the forest with Dutch elm disease, uh, which goes around and kills your elm trees, which we have a lot of. Uh, corn smut, which is a fungal infection that affects corn crops. Again, we do have a lot of farming in our uh, state, and corn is, I'm sure you've seen corn fields driving through our state at times, but corn frost smut can uh, cause uh, detrimental to that crop. And again, it is a parasitic fungus. And the last one is also wheat rust. So not all of these are going to be affecting humans, uh, but they do affect us indirectly by destroying our crops. Uh, our last thing we want to talk about is symbiosis. Symbiosis is a uh, relationship between two different organisms where uh, one of them is going to benefit. Uh, when both of them benefit, it is mutualism. So a lot of these are going to be mutualistic. Um, our first is a plant root association. A lot of times uh, plants will get a fungus that starts growing around their roots. And this is actually a good thing for both the plant and the fungus. One, it provides the 
fungus with water because that's what roots do they take in water so the fungus is getting a good supply of water and it's also helping the plant out because this fungus can recycle that nitrogen that the plant needs so while it decomposes and shoots its chemicals out of its hyphae into the surrounding soil to decompose what's in there it will also break apart that nitrogen that's already in there so the plant can use it and therefore it will help the plant grow and surpass other plants in the same area so it is a beneficial to both of them uh, next thing we want to look at is lichens lichens are a combination between protists and fungi um, these are going to be uh, growing on off of rocks or tree stumps and stuff they look very flaky like um, they are pioneer organisms which you should know what that term means. A pioneer organism is an organism that um, is first introduced into the environment. So these are some of the first um, organisms that will come to a new environment. Uh, they are also some of the first organisms that will go when pollutants start coming into environments. So keep that in mind. Um, if we have a forest that we don't have any lichens in, then there's probably some kind of pollutant out there that's killing them off very easily. Or vice versa, if we have a forest that had a lot of pollutants in and we're trying to clean them up, uh, we will note that we're doing a good job when lichens start to form because that means there's no, that pollutant is pretty much gone and it will help us moderate how much pollution is in that forest. Uh, that concludes your uh, notes for Chapter 3. Make sure you are studying in vocab and continue working on your assignments. Make sure you ask questions in class.